brothers welcome back to dummy nation today we're gonna be playing as the most upvoted country in the last video which is new zealand so let's go ahead and get started take a look at what new zealand has Ooh, nice to be strong 52nd best gdp 67th military power their troops they don't have any rockets they only have a thousand tanks so not necessarily the best they do have four million in the bank though so that's very nice um We'll save this for later because I want to copy basically what the United States does. We'll take a little bit of points into military research. And then we'll put the rest into reactive armor. I had a little bit of delay because I was thinking about going down at the economic route. I was just like, well, if we're going to do that, we need to conquer a big economic power. I feel like we don't really have a strong population and we really don't have that opportunity over here in the Pacific. So we'll be fine on that front. Uh, excuse me. Did I not max out the reactive armor? There we go. Okay. Let's take a look at our troops. Let's go ahead and get a hefty amount of tanks. That would be pretty nice. And then we'll put some small mounts into commandos, rockets, or gunners, and then the rest into rockets. And I think that'll be a pretty heavily mil heavy, heavy military. Let's go ahead and put up um, democracy all the way. In fact, let's save a little bit of money. I don't think we're going to get attacked anytime soon. Let's hit apply there. Now, we do need to go alliance hunting with the rest of our money. We do have an alliance with the United States. That should protect us. I would also really love an alliance with China. And it's pretty cheap, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. So that's really nice for us. Now, with the military we already have, we're going to go over into Papua New Guinea and just kind of wait there. I would love to have more of my military ready before we do this, but Papua New Guinea is pretty nice target for the Pacific as it has the 103rd best GDP, but it doesn't have any military power. So we can go over here and just get ready for that attack, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait to see if I can get any reinforcements first. Okay, we have everything, good. Let's bring everybody over and we'll start our attack. Now, did Papua New Guinea get a military in the meantime? No, they did not, okay. So let's go ahead and attack and we'll split our army once and attack. Oh, we need to fix our budget, hold on. Let's look at what China's doing. Budget. I like that. So let's fix our budget. Bring this down to like 24. That's why we're struggling against rebels because we didn't have any military funding. Pakistan, did you run out of troops? You did. Singapore's over there. Hold on. Let's try and get over to Pakistan really quickly. Oh, China just absolutely rocked Singapore. They got their overseas territories. They rocked them so bad. Holy cow. I'm not exit the game. I want us to speed things up a little bit. And then let's split our army and attack the same spot. Just move a little bit faster. Pakistan, what's your, yeah, 50th best GDP. Definitely think that's worth it. Where are your economic zones? Just like right there. You lost most of it already. And a few up there too. France? Hold on, maybe we go over to Bangladesh. Nice. They weakened them up and then they left. Okay, let's get involved before anybody else does because France is coming back. I want to have this land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice little get for us. We are a little bit weak though, so I'm going to go home and wait for like another weaker target to present itself. We still have Kazakhstan to potentially go through, but honestly, I think at this point we're making 100. We don't need to be too greedy. How are we looking overall? 16th best military power, so still probably a threat of China, and I don't like walking through their lands. I'm just gonna get an alliance treaty with them, just so we don't have any uh, misunderstandings. How's Russia looking? Russia is 10 million, so they're still relatively strong. They are weakened, so it might be good to save up for Russia. Mm, I see China moving and I think they're going over to Kazakhstan. I'm going to try and get over there too. Uzbekistan doesn't have any alliances and they don't have any land or troops. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and push for this. Now I would love to take out Kazakhstan. Ooh, Poland's going really aggressive. I would love to take out Kazakhstan because Russia's incredibly weak right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I would love to get... Honestly, let's just forget about Kazakhstan. We'll just go here. We'll go from the north. But let's get up there. Russia doesn't have any troops. We push for Moscow. Can we get Moscow? Yes, we did, but Poland's being very aggressive in this one. That is gonna be a threat. Uh, let's get you down here to try and block Poland's escape. Okay, good. That army's been defeated, or this land's been defeated, so now we can bring these troops down south. How do you take Russia? You go to the economic, the, the economy tab, and what you need to be looking for is you wait for Russia to obviously lose all of its troops, but then you fight for the lands with these little dots. That means those are cities, those have more economies. Now it's very unfortunate that Poland grabs so much. They're gonna be a hard one to take down, but we're still making about 400. If we took all of this, we'd be making probably like a thousand. 
and then you just constantly you establish a base and then you see me constantly going into rebels because the more you could take out the rebels like if you let the rebels just stand around they increase the amount of troops they have and then also if you keep let, letting them get territory then they'll spawn more rebels so it's best to take care of them as soon as possible and i'm actually going to send this army back to capture these economic zones over here like this area is probably going to be more beneficial than a lot of this area so with Russia mostly defeated, they still have a little bit of territory. Actually, they still got a lot more overseas territory. But we're making about 500,000. We finally got our first million, so we can recruit some tanks, which is what our army's lacking a lot. We, we are pretty low on firepower. At this point, we're the ninth best GDP, but the 20th best military power. So we definitely need to put a hard focus in on that. We have another uh, point we can put into combat training, which is going to be helpful. So after russia i think and we go for as many territories as we can possibly get after russia falls though completely i think we're gonna have to take a little bit of time to hang out is this all russia down here let's take a look at where the economy is the rest of their zones um probably here would be really good to get and down here so maybe we ignore the north even though you know better land borders and we'll go like right here all right russia's been defeated let's send everybody home i'm gonna i, I want to attack mexico next but because they have a pretty substantial military and our military is honestly not that strong we're still at 16th we really haven't grown i think it's best for us to wait and constantly be building up our military let's get closer to you know in the top 10 at least and then i think we go into mexico i mean i think we have like yeah we have 2.8k rockets i would love to get the rockets up and then i would love to get the tanks closer to like five at the very least probably closer to 10. i think we're pretty happy with where we're at in the world like uh where do we sit economically ninth really be nice to get uh, 10th out the way and combine that with ours who's ahead of us how much are they growing we're growing faster than all these guys we just need a little bit more land okay let's start moving our troops over to mexico i think we actually wait just a quick moment to like mexico's not very strong on their own they have a lot of friends though that we're gonna have to buy off i don't want to have to fight down all of these players at the same time uh united states hates them china hates them so they're a really good target for us so we have about 250k in the bank. That uh, should be enough. Let's go ahead and start fighting down Mexico. All right, Mexico has been defeated. Here comes Chile. Um, how much are you? You have a good military. Buy you off. It's not even a dollar. How many people lost? Colombia. Yeah, that's cheap too. Now we can split our army and go straight for Mexico City. The Dominican Republic would be nice too. What is there? 53rd diplomacy. We're friends with Brazil. We could buy off Brazil. Especially now that we're making 2k a time. That's really nice for us. I also really like Guatemala. Guatemala has 50th and has no troops. You're not friends with like the United States. No, United States and China both hate you. Those are the countries I'm really concerned about at this point. So I think we just go into Guatemala. And I would love to start going down economic research. Self-sufficient economy is 10. I could buy. No, you know what? I'm just going to. I'm not going to go for the discount in this one. Actually, I really should because I do like to go down pretty heavily on the economy. I think next time what my plan of attack is for research is I'm just going to put the 10 points in the combat, the, enough, like the five points to unlock reactive armor into combat training. Get this because I really don't advance the military too much and then put the rest into self-sufficient economy. Wait, I didn't want to attack. Oh, well, we'll still fight them down. They're surprisingly strong. This was a mistake. Oh, well, I wanted to attack Costa Rica. There we go. I think the next swing we want to do, we want to do it somebody big. Maybe Saudi Arabia or Iran. India. Just a little power check. Yeah, I think we just go home and build up our military from here. We'll wait for somebody else to do something drastic. And we'll just continue to build up. I would love to get to 10k tanks, about 6k rockets, a million uh, gunners, and then half a million. Or a million commandos, half a million gunners. I think that's what we need to aim for at this point. Because right now we're the fourth best military power or GDP, but 11th best military power. So we do need to kind of slow our game down a little bit. And how close are we to jumping up to India? We're almost past India. We're definitely, they're growing faster than us, but honestly, I, I prefer to just keep building up the military. So I don't want to put too much pressure on the military. The, the, the economy will come. If someone wants to grow at 4%, let them. I don't feel like that's sustainable. Nobody else is growing at 4%. Ooh, could we get to Colombia in time? Let's try it. Canada definitely got the lion's share. Yeah, they got all the economy zones and just left. South Korea, though. Hold on. Germany? We could buy off Germany. 
What do you have? Troops. You have kind of gunners. You really don't have a lot. What's our military look like? Pretty good. Let's invest another whatever we can get in tanks. And then I think we go into South Korea. All right. We have our military here. Let's go directly into Seoul, take down their army, and then just kind of eat everything that South Korea has. They have a lot of valuable land that we're definitely going to want. So there they go. UAEs are going to declare war on us. We'll see if they get over here. We'll wait to piece them out until they're actually here. Romania has declared war on us. Fair. Germany's declared war on us. Germany's the only one I'm going to actually probably fly off preemptively. I'd love Germany not to be here at all. 2.9 million. That's very expensive. We have 10 points, so let's get the first level of self-sufficient economy. We finished up all their Asia holdings. They only really have Venezuela left. Yeah, I think they only have Venezuela left, so that's kind of worth it. Still 31st best GDP and no troops. I, the only thing I'm worried about is Germany coming over. Romania charged all the way over there through our lands, so they took some attrition damage. And now they're just kind of running back home. So... We're fine on that front. By the way, let's go ahead and increase our military service all the way now that we're making some money and there's a potential to start getting attacked. What happened to all of our tanks? Oh, frick. Go home. We only have a thousand tanks? I think you walked through Japan. Oh no. That's really bad. Just got a little sloppy and it's cost us pretty tremendously. We're not we're not positioned to take anybody at this point because we walked through Japan. I wasn't paying attention. We lost a lot of troops. We have to build. We're the 30th strongest, 36th strongest military power. We're not in a position to make any moves at this point. Yeah, we're just kind of in a holding pattern until we can get our military back up. Like we're even the top 10, we're top four. But when you start considering that we were planning on taking a swing at one of the top four, <laughs> we're pretty weak. I would love to be at like 20K tanks two to three million gunners 10k rockets and half a million of these guys so it's going to be a minute or a million of these guys i was japan looking after we went through they still haven't recovered they still have a lot of gunners so if we can get a lot of tanks i think we'll be in a good spot they're definitely gonna be our next target let's take a look at their diplomacy germany brazil we know germany won't we won't be able to buy off brazil i don't know if we could let's get up start off with a peace treaty with that in a million to get an alliance yeah why not they're a big enough economy that I think that's worth it. I'd also love to get an alliance with the United States, but 21 million is pretty expensive. We still have our alliance with China. Yes. India? We lost that one. We'll buy it back. Australia. Very expensive. More expensive than the United States. I bet you don't even have troops. You do have a little bit of troops. Are you attacking Japan now? Yeah, as soon as these troops are done, we're attacking Japan. Let's just double check their diplomacy, see if we... Yeah, we're going to have to buy off Germany and France. We're going to have to buy off a number of people. So let's wait till we get to about 30 million and then we'll do it. Yeah, let's get an alliance with Germany. And we're going to push into Japan. We'll see how much we have to actually run away. North Macedonia has declared war on us. Slow this down. We actually need to be a little bit cautious of this. It's just North Macedonia. Okay, good. Let's start pushing for land then. Yeah, we're kind of in a little bit of a Cold War state. I'm surprised Kazakhstan still exists. You know, as soon as we finish up with um, Japan, let's go into Kazakhstan. No troops. 23rd best beat GDP. Kind of worth, right? All right, I think we finished up Japan. Yeah, Japan's been defeated. Good. So we'll just wait for the rest of our, our 11 million foot soldiers to come through, and then we'll be ready. Freaking mountains, dude. Something about going through the Himalayas is, like, difficult. What the frick? So unrealistic. All right, where are damn economic zones? Everywhere. Okay. Let's get an army to push here. And an army to push here. Yay! Continuous landmass for the win! Making 85 a tick. Very nice. Let's go home and start investing more in the military. You won't believe it. But China has grown to astronomical levels. Us walking through Japan really is such a detriment to us because, yeah, because we're so far behind the game. We could be at like 30K tanks, but we're only at like 20. And that's real rough for us. I was just gonna do that. Wait, can we still get over there to Egypt? Let's find out. Dang it, we didn't get any of it. Um, frick it, let's just go into Saudi Arabia. All right, a little bit of warmongering there. We lost our alliance with China. It's too expensive to get back. 
59 million. Eh, what about the United States? Do you like me more? 165 million. I think I'll bet on China. Let's get that. India. G. Well, let's look for a big economic partner. So we're, we're second now, which is great. We're actually way above the United States. That's cool. Um, Brazil would probably be the best. But do you have a military? Like, do I want to make you a target? Yeah, honestly, let's get that peace treaty. And then how much for an alliance treaty? 72 million? Sure. Let's get that. Let's make some friends. South Korea will buy a peace treaty with you. Wait, how much is your military overall? Yeah, we'll get a peace treaty with you. It's cheap enough. And let's just send everybody home. Take a look at our diplomacy at this point. I would love... A, I don't know why I can't. They're so expensive. Um, Poland, maybe? I bet you have a good economy. 13th. Brazil, we're friends with. India, you like us a lot. Not enough to get an alliance treaty, though. Currently, second best GDP, third best military power. That's only behind the United States and so forth. But if we look at the map, how are we doing growth-wise? Pretty slowed down right now. We're actually growing more than China. So we could potentially win the game just on economics. But what that really means is that we don't have to make the first move. We could just slowly build up our military, wait for the United States or China to do something drastic, and then pounce on them. Oh, finally an alliance treaty with the United States. That should really help our economy, getting those two. So alliance treaty with UK and the United States should bump up our economic growth pretty heavily. Yeah, we're going much faster than China at this point. Are you happy to not be in the Mediterranean now? Yeah, dude, so much. Ugh. How's the United States only at 9%? I don't know what they did this game. I think they just heavily invested in their military and they didn't take anything with it. So they don't have a lot. They've been kind of been left behind. Ooh, China's going to Brazil. Full force right there. Is India at war with China? What happened to China? Oh, China's getting weak. They lost a lot of their troops. I don't know where they went. Hooray. Brazil has been defeated. We're making 268 now. We're doing really well. GDP is number, still number two. That's just because China's got a little bit of a lead on us. We're about to surpass them. We're making our economic growth is 3.89%. There's a 3.66. So that's looking very good for us. And as soon as we get our first level of welfare states, that's going to help out a lot with inflation. So I think we hold off on buying any military until we can get that at least that first level. Okay. We buy welfare states. And with our 300,000... Take a look at our military. We'd love to get up to the 30k tanks. So let's do that. That's going to be a nice kind of shove in the right direction. China has a lot of colonies. Now, if China falls, I think we win the game. Especially as they don't have any rockets. We'll invest heavily in rocket economy here in a minute. Get these guys up to like 25. Or 20. And I think we, we'll be in a position to fight China. Because a lot of their strength is wrapped up in gunners, which are not good at defensive units. So we really just got to push through their tanks and we could win. It honestly might be worth going in India. Third best GDP, 15 million firepower. How's your alliances? United States would come, a lot of people would come to you. Well, not that many. United States, Poland, and Israel. What does your troop count look like? Just no way. Just, ooh, 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 ooh. Um... Let's buy a lot more commandos. And then I think we get ready for a war with India. All right, we have our forces. I'm saving up everything I can because I don't know how expensive a peace treaty with the United States is going to be. I would love to reinforce my uh, commandos even more just because India always has a lot of rebels. But we're going to have to kind of deal with the hand that we've been dealt. Now, ec India's economic zone's in the north for the most part. So that's going to be the hard focus for us. Although it's doing well everywhere this game just because it's kind of the end of the game. They're the third best GDP. So let's go ahead and jump in on India and get ready to buy off who we need to. Yeah, they have no troops. Poland's declared war on us. That's it so far. Poland will buy off to the United States. No. Okay, so let's start investing more in co into commandos. So we're at 60%. We got to be at first place. Yeah, we're first place now. So still a little bit more to go. At this point, we just need... If we could fight down China, we would win the game. But I am concerned that the rest of the world is going to start turning on us. You get to a certain point in the game and the rest of the world goes, hey, we want to take you out. You go, please don't. And they go, no, 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 I'm still going to do it. So it is going to be a little bit of a rough go. I think at this point we invest in gunners and try and grab as much territory as possible. I'm very worried about the United States still. Look at that. That's a ridiculous amount of troops. 
One of these two will do something that'll make them lose the game. But I don't think we need to get involved before that happens. I think if we get involved before that happens, the rest of the world's gonna turn on us and we're gonna lose the game. Like that snowballing effect from walking through Japan is really unfortunately devastating to us right now because we could have potentially won the game already. But because we had to rebuild our military basically from zero, we're having this awkward game where these two are gigantic and we really could take them out. We have 147,000. We could potentially win against China. We would lose against the United States, but like it, we would be weak enough to the point where the rest of the world would jump on us and there'd be no way for us to walk out of that one unscathed. Yeah, we're much bigger GDP wise, but we're not really growing at this point. We're growing really slowly. 4% economic growth though, very nice. I would love to just get an alliance with you because I don't think you're gonna fall, but 7G is too expensive for me. Hold on, Germany's declared war on us. That's bad. Oh, that's real bad. We gotta go to war Germany. See if we can bring out their military. Fight them all in one. They've lost a lot. Never mind. Give me one of you. Go fight down here. Billy's declared war on us. Fine, fight us. Let's get everybody down here. All together. As we fight down the entirety of Europe at this point. A war we didn't choose, but a war that's come to us. The United States is declared war on us. Gotta peace out that one. I buy off hung like Hungary. No, they don't really have anything left. March to victory, boys. Poland might be enough. France, I would love to buy off, though. Like, especially when we start getting over here, which is where all their Russian cities are, this might be really good for us. Canada. Yeah, buy you off. Okay, what damage has Indonesia done? Not a lot. China? Strong. United States, strong. Honestly, forget forget the Baltics. Everybody can just get right here. I don't know about you, though. I'm going to send you home. France and Italy should be weak enough. Yep. Let's just split. You go into Italy. We're in this awkward end game where everyone's declared war on us. And at this point, I think the best way we can counter it is just by grabbing as much land as fast as we possibly can. The United States and China still have these massive armies looming over us. And if we can't get up to 100% before they start really going after us, we're just going to lose the game. So at this point, we've weakened down everybody in Europe for the most part. We're kind of at war with everybody. Poland's still invading us. We only, I, I, I'm very fearful of splitting my armies even more just because of how many nations are still attacking us but we're pretty close to victory only about 10 percent away so we just got to keep pushing and hoping that we can speed our way out of this one but right now it's not looking the best france getting down was very helpful italy will also be pretty helpful but we're very much in a race against time here spain would be nice i know spain's my next target i just want to finish off italy so i'm just not having to deal with so many rebels Okay, I think that's Italy done. Everybody over here for a war with Spain. Indonesia, can I buy you off now? Yes. Okay, so I don't have to worry about my troops running through danger. 95. We're really close to victory here. I don't know if Spain's going to be enough, but the looming threat of the United States and China is just very scary at this point. I'm thankful that we were able to get buy off Indonesia so we can at least bring up reinforcements without them having to worry about being attacked we're getting very close we just need to push a little bit more but i'm a little i'm fearful of splitting all my troops all at once because i don't know if spain's gonna be enough i don't know if we're gonna lose troops we're constantly getting attacked by everyone on the map Ooh, this is gonna be very close okay i think the easiest way now is portugal we need one more percent get portugal down oh Let's go. <laughs> that was probably the most stressful end game I've ever had. China and the United States not doing anything, saving up for giant militaries and then getting attacked and being forced into a battle in Europe was not the way I wanted to end it. But my God, were we able to pull it off? We lost some territory to Indone Indonesia was there. United States kept declaring war on us. We were fortunate enough to be able to buy them off enough times. China, 
we bought them off a couple of times. They weren't as aggressive. Everyone was very content to go into Europe. So it was kind of the nice, the best trap we could have laid. But my God, was that scary. <laughs> ah, losing all my troops in Japan at the beginning of the game was not fun either. But that is where we're going to wrap things up for today. And as we do wrap things up, if you have a nation you want me to play next, put it in the comments down below. It plays the most upvoted country. Next country up will be Liechtenstein. And then after that will be the most upvoted nation in this video. But as we do start to wrap things up, just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, especially if you made this far in the video. If you ah, made this far in the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one.